Hello everybody and welcome back to another Hacker Tools video. Today we are looking at GoBuster, an amazing content enumeration tool that can do almost anything. If you want to enumerate um, subdomains, it can do it. V hosts, uh, that brute force directories, just regular fuzzing and even the detection of S3 buckets. So this is amazing, let's jump into it. We are going to be running GoBuster today, but if you haven't installed it yet, then go over to their GitHub page, to the releases, and from there you can download the binary and use it. On top of that, we also need some word lists to use with GoBuster. And my favorite source of word lists is Seclists. This is a great repository, a compilation of a ton of word lists, so I definitely recommend either cloning this repository or downloading some word lists to work with. But now, without further ado, let's run this tool. Alright, time to run GoBuster for the first time. So I'm going to start with the GoBuster that, um, command, followed by uh, a plugin that we're going to be running. And the first one we're going to be trying out is DIR, which is for directory and file enumeration on a web server, for example. Then we're going to define a target with dash dash URL. In this case, I am going to be going for uh, a local host, just because I have. Uh, I don't want to be stressing anything right now. On top of that, I'm going to be choosing a word list. What are we going to scan with? What what are the things we're going to use? And for this, again, like I said earlier, we're going to be using seclists. And then in seclists, I want to go into discovery, for example. And in, in discovery, I'm going to go for uh, web content. And then in web content, I have the file common.txt, which is a word list with some common endpoints. Okay, now if I would press enter, it was, this would work already. However, let's assume here that we are on a bug bounty target. And our target might have some restraints, for example, that we cannot just send in thousands of requests at once. In that case, we would need to set some more flags here, which we will be doing. So first of all, um, sorry, let's... Uh, set the amount of threads that we'll be using to, for example, 10. Now, I'm gonna set the delay between each request on a thread to one second. So this means that we would send 10 requests per second. Um, now, let's say that we need to set a specific user agent for this company, for this Big Bounty program. We can do that with a dash dash user, user agent flag, and then we can set, for example, your username, uh, like this. Obviously the company or the bug bounty program would have some specific things they would like you to set, so set them there. Uh, but they may also say, well, we want a custom header to be set. And that's also possible with the dash dash headers uh, parameter here. And we can set that to, for example, X integrity, and then your username like that. And that is all this command needs. And if I run it, uh, I have clearly made a mistake. This should be word list instead of word lists. But if I run this, then we will see that it firstly outputs a lot of information about what we're doing here, and then it will start working. Now, in this case, we've already found the .hd access file, which is great. And I will let this run for a second and come back to you guys when it has finished executing. And just like that, the scan has concluded. And as we can see, it found an admin.php file, a robots.txt file, and a secret file. So that is how you use the directory scanner of GoBuster. Continuing with these plugins, we will be looking at the vhost plugin. And this one can be used to enumerate vhosts. Um, so those are those, um, see if there's any other domains on this web server that will give different content. And to do that, we change the plugin name here to vhost. And then in the URL, we don't need to change anything. Uh, well, in this case, it's an IP address, so that won't work. We'll have, we'll have a domain name, for example, pink.com. And what it will do is it will try to search for, for example, www.pink.com or shop.pink.com and so on. Um, then we also need a different word list, obviously, because this web content one isn't going to find much. So we're going to go, for, in this case, for a DNS one. And then we can choose from uh, all of these Let's pick this one and then you can run that and all the other headers and stuff that is, are, is present here uh, will also be present in that scan 
Uh, in this case, ping.com is not my subdomain, so I'm not gonna run this scan. Um, but yeah, that's how the vhost plugin works. Then at, on top of that, we also have a very similar one, uh, and that is the fuzz plugin here. And this can be used for any kind of fuzzing. So let's say we have a URL, uh, so we have HTTP, and on our local host, we noticed that we had that admin.php file. So admin.php. And there we can log in um, using a username. So the username equals admin. And then we also have a password get parameter, um, which we don't know which one we want to scan. So we set that to capital fuzz. And now what it's going to do, it's going to take from this word list and obviously you would have to change that to passwords then. Uh, from this word list, it's gonna try to uh, first for this password here, and that is how this first one works. So all, all very useful. Um, if you want more information on any of these, you can obviously go into the help page. So these all have custom help pages right here. And here you can then set anything that you want to do. And for example, for this fuzzing one, a very important one here is the exclude length. So what you will see is when you first you will get lengths back and one will be default, for example, the default page that you get back. However, when you have a successful attempt in this login, you will get a different length. Uh, so you'll want to exclude the default length and so on. That is all possible in GoBuster now. So that's really cool. And now I want to really quickly also jump in the DNS and S3 plugins of GoBuster. So uh, you can run GoBuster and then DNS and then you can supply a domain, for example, integrity.com. Now you have to supply a word list. Again, we can use the one that we just discussed and that way you can also enumerate DNS subdomains. Really cool. Uh, I still prefer other tools for this, such as MS and stuff. However, uh, GoBuster can do it, which is great. On top of that, GoBuster can also find S3 buckets. And to do that, you just need to supply a word list. Obviously, this word list needs to be custom. Um, so you'll firstly have to generate that for your specific con uh, company. However, GoBuster can enumerate them, which is also nice to know, good to keep in the back of your head. And that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new about GoBuster. Uh, Definitely try it out, see if this tool fits in your tool chain that you use for your bug bounty hunting. As always, if you liked this video, like it down below, comment uh, what tools you would like to see us cover in the next weeks, and I hope to see you next week. Take care.